Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Simply Mama Cooks. I'm Angelica. By the way, if I look messy today, I've been cleaning all day. And my house is still a mess. Super fun. It's dinner time, or it's almost dinner time, and I want to do something easy today because it's just been a long day. So I'm going to show you an easy recipe for chicken and biscuits. Some of you might know this as chicken pot pie or easy chicken pot pie. Either way, I'm using store-bought ingredients. I'm going to put it together. It's super easy, hot, and delicious. Here we go. I have some rotisserie chicken that's already shredded. My husband did that for me. I have, let's see what we have in here. Sorry for my messy fridge, by the way. I have some uh, canned biscuit. I have some fresh corn. And I, I see some cheese back there. That's gonna go in there too. Okay, so I have some peas and carrots as well. So let me go over this motley crew of ingredients that's gonna make dinner. I have some cheese that needs to be used. One can of flaky uh, butter biscuits, eight big biscuits. I have a can of cream of chicken. I have a rotisserie chicken that I've already just um, removed the chicken from the bone. Here, I'm gonna be adding some sour cream and I have some Mexican crema in this bottle that needs to be used. It's going into the mix. I'm gonna use like a cup or so of these peas and carrots. I'll use two ears of fresh corn. I'll remove the kernels from the cob. We're gonna put it together, some extra seasonings and spices. It's gonna be a delicious bake. Okay, so my corn is fresh, so I'm gonna cook and saute the corn a little bit before I get started with everything else. Um, if I really didn't have to cook the corn, I'd probably just mix everything in a bowl and put it in a baking dish, but you know, I'm gonna do the best I can today. So I'm gonna let that melt. The pan is preheating. Um, and here I have my corn that I cut away from the cob. And score, I found a little bit of diced onion. I don't even remember dicing this, but it's going in as well. <laughs> so let's get that in the pan. And the corn. I'm gonna saute this for like 10 minutes. So I hope you guys are doing good. And if you want a more, um, let's say, scratch made chicken and biscuits. I have a recipe for that that I will link below. I'm gonna add a little bit of my salt, just a pinch to get things going in the pan. There we go. I'm gonna lower it just a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna continue to saute this until the butter's melted and the onions are translucent over a medium heat, by the way. And I am working with a big, um, it's not the largest one I have, but this definitely has to be like 10 inches, a 10 inch uh, pan. And because it's oven proof, guess what? I'm gonna put everything in here and bake it as well. So that'll save me some dishes later. I'm gonna get some poultry seasoning, garlic powder, some onion powder, and what else do I have in here? By the way, this is not even organized. I need to reorganize this. Um, yeah, maybe some, I'll have a little bit of dried parsley. There we go. I'm gonna warm through the spices before adding other stuff. So I'm gonna go in with some poultry seasoning, like a half teaspoon, um, and some onion and garlic powder, like a half teaspoon of each. And the rest of my parsley can go in there. Give that a mix, warm it through. Still working with a medium heat. I don't wanna burn anything. Let's see here. So now it's time to add my cream of chicken. And I'm doing this one-handed. <laughs> and I'm gonna take this right over here in my messy area here. And I'm gonna pour some water. Just to, uh, probably like, I did like a cup of water and add that. Give that a mix. Yeah, this dinner is super easy. I like when I can get things out of the fridge and put it together to make a meal. And that's pretty much what this video is going to be about me, just getting dinner on the table and finding things in my fridge to use. Okay, now I'm gonna add that crema. This is Mexican table cream. You could use a little bit of heavy cream. I probably had like three quarters of a cup that went in there. Um, again, just using what I've got 
Here I'm going to be using my sour cream. I'm just going to go in with maybe a little bit of sour cream. Um, in all, if I had to guess, like a cup of heavy cream or a cup of uh, sour cream works. I was just, like I said, using what I've got. Give this a mix. And be sure to taste things before you go to bake it for seasoning and spices. And, you know, adjust to your preference. I always say that. My taste buds just might not align with yours. And that's life. Okay, so I'm going in with my chicken. Um, if I had to guess, three cups of chicken at least. I just removed all the chicken from a two-pound rotisserie chicken going in. This is actually going to make a really good amount of chicken. I'm glad I, I bought that rotisserie chicken. This really came in clutch today. Okay, so I'm just going to give this a really good mix. Okay, so now I'm just going to eyeball maybe like a cup and a half of the frozen peas and carrots. Um, a can of mixed vegetables or frozen mixed vegetables. I mean, be creative. Use what you've got. You know all those good things that you got to do to make a meal. Okay, so before I forget, I have a bag of cheese. And I'm just going to add like a cup of cheese or so into my chicken mixture. There we go. Well, you know, maybe it's a little more. I just used the whole bag. It was time to use that cheese. So give this a mix. And this is the uh, mixture for this dish. Okay, so I'm taking my can of uh, flaky biscuits. Use, you know, you could even do drop biscuits if you have homemade, you know, drop biscuits. So what I'm going to do is, I hate doing this. This actually gives me anxiety. But I'm going to, is it this side? Does it matter? Okay, let's open these. Yes, no, is it going to work? Okay. Come on. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna take the biscuits to open this. I'm, since these are flaky, which is, this is one of the reasons why I like to use flaky biscuits is because you can half this. Now you don't have to, but it kind of evenly disperses on the top of like whatever it is you're baking. And I'm gonna half these and I'm doing a poor job doing it one-handed, but I'll place each half on top of my chicken and veggie, veggie mixture. So yeah, let me have these. It kind of creates a thinner layer. It'll cook a lot quicker. I'm going at 350 until the biscuits are cooked through like 15 to 20 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit into the oven, uncovered. Okay, so while this is baking, I just wanted to mention, um, I was eyeballing a lot of things, which was evident if you watched the beginning part of this video, uh, but I'll do the best I can to list some sort of ratios and quantities of what I used. For example, the chicken, it came from a rotisserie chicken, but if you don't have that, it's probably well over a pound of cooked chicken. Let's say closer to a pound and a half. The vegetables are versatile. You don't have to use store-bought canned cream of chicken. You can make your own. I will link my other recipe video, like I stated earlier, where you can do things from scratch. But today is going to be exceptionally good, um, if not even better, because it was super easy to make, you guys. Sometimes recipes like this really do matter when it comes to time and, I don't know, energy, because I'm super tired. Sorry. Okay. Oh, that's hot. So this is done. Once the biscuits are cooked through in golden brown, and remember, I have the biscuits, so the cook time is a lot different than if you have an entire, like, thick, large biscuit on there. So, super good. Okay, so this is done. Smells amazing, looks amazing. It's bubbling and piping hot just the way I like it. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.